Soil erosion is amongst the most pressing issues regarding global food security. Around 40% of the world's agricultural land is already seriously degraded through non-renewable land use. This number, however, is still rising fast. This directly diminishes agricultural production, with severe consequences on a social and economic level in most regions around the world. Lack of grazing management and conventional farming methods with ploughing, monocultures and non-renewal of the organic matter leaves the soil uncovered. Wind and rainfall then lead to progressive soil erosion. This is especially serious for farmland on slopes. In order to reduce erosion on slopes, several methods can be applied. Most of them aim at reducing the water runoff velocity or volume. Common erosion control techniques include swales and terraces. Swales are constructed by digging trenches along contour lines and by mounting soil on the downhill side. This way, runoff is collected in trenches and can better infiltrate into the ground. Terraces are quite similar to swales. They are constructed along the contour lines by reshaping the slope into multiple steps that are usually fortified with stones. The runoff is slowed down and has more time to infiltrate. Vegetation cover must be established from the beginning. Terraces and swales demand labour and constant maintenance. Therefore, drought-resistant, fast-growing plants with a fast income generation like moringa trees should be chosen. Mutually supportive plants should be combined, but there is still a lack of knowledge. To build a living terrace, tree rows are established along the contour lines of the slope. When they have grown to several meters in height, they are cut off and laid horizontally between the tree stumps in order to get a woven structure of vertical and horizontal elements. By choosing trees that are propagated by cuttings, the cut-off branches will form roots where they have contact with the ground and sprout. This way, the whole structure will be alive, productive, long-lasting and more stable due to the roots. By converting erosion control techniques into a productive system, multiple benefits and positive synergies accumulate. These include soil restoration and agroforestry, which produce an extra income for farmers, making slope farming more sustainable and profitable.